This is the Blue Mountain Artists Guild of Dayton, Washington, presenting Inspiration, pure original art created by human artists. This is Kathy Loftus Socket's watercolor as I see it. I'm inspired by nature, from the shapes and shades of the hills to the pink underbellies of clouds. I didn't take a photo. I just remember how it made me feel. Constantly changing, I tuck these impressions away for the next time I'm ready to paint. This is Lorna Barth, inspired by ruins. Watercolor collage, torn paper pansies. When I was learning watercolor techniques, I made a lot of mistakes. So I tore up the ruined paintings and used the pieces to create a floral collage of pansies. All pieces of this collage are from the ruins of failed paintings. This is Brenda North's watercolor, Crocus in Snow, March 2024. When I heard the theme inspiration, I immediately thought of flowers because when I first started painting several years ago, I did so because I wanted to learn to paint beautiful floral paintings. I learned quickly that it isn't easy. Spring brings new flowers of all kinds, but to me, the crocus popping up in early spring, often through snow or other harsh conditions, is a symbol of hope and inspiration for what's to come. Bev Starton's inspiration is fabric. This is Mixed Media Fabric Art 2024. I taught a class last week on simple stitch fabric art and decided I need to finish this project for this month's theme. I so enjoyed using an old quilt block, which I found at a yard sale, and adding other fabrics, buttons, and handwork for this creation. Bobby Raydell, Mixed Media Collage, Inspiration, A Beginning. 2024. Ellen Heath, Watercolor 2024. I always find inspiration at the beach. And so does Michelle Smith. A few years ago, I took a photo of one of the many plein air artists on the beach at Bandon, Oregon, and was recently inspired to recreate the scene. Helen Boland, watercolor, white cat inspiration. This cat is inspired by the beautiful Blue Mountains view. I was inspired by the cat and its focus. This painting, along with other pieces by members of the Blue Mountain Artists Guild, can be viewed at the traveling exhibit through Dayton 
<clears throat> in the Delaney room of the library, near the gift shop at the hospital, at the senior center, and at the Liberty Theater. The Blue Mountain Artist Guild of Washington. All images in this video are property of the artist represented, all rights reserved. No copies of the images for use as AI or pirated content is permitted. This video is copyrighted by Story Henge Art and Lorna Barth and was created for the sole use by the Blue Mountain Artist Guild of Dayton, Washington. For more information about the artists, please visit our Facebook page. And thank you for watching.